It is December 31st, 2017, New Year's Eve. And today I want to talk to you guys about a couple of things. Where's the channel going next year? What's changing? Takeaways from this year, my first year of being a YouTuber. Uh, not full time because I love my job. But really just diving into something new, not knowing what to expect. Looking at what could possibly happen, but looking at what possibly could not. So I wanted to, you know, follow up with you guys. It's been a while since I've done a non-unboxing tech related video. And today I just want to talk to you guys about where this channel is going and just the things that's going on in my life. Uh, if I'm going to call this a vlog channel or to incorporate every aspect of my life, basically, there's things that I want to talk to you guys about and just, you know, take some feedback. You know, I'm always open to feedback. That's how I get better. That's how you guys get better videos, right? So we want to make sure that the things that we're doing, um, we're doing it together, right? If you guys are going to be subscribed to my channel, let me know what you don't like. Let me know what you do like. Let me know the things that I can be doing better. Let me know the things that you guys uh, would love to see more of. That way I can make sure that I'm turning out the same content. Uh, one of the first things we want to talk about here is just reflecting on the first year of having a YouTube channel. So. If you guys are looking through the settings, you'll see that this channel was started in June of 2016. However, I didn't get my GoPro or I didn't even come up with the name of this channel until this year. This year is when I officially launched the channel. My first video was a golfing video. Mm -hmm. intro. We did a couple of things like that. That was basically what I used to jump into the YouTube space. Um, Followed up with the big ski trip. My, we, me and my wife and some friends, we usually go on a ski trip once a year, uh, usually at the end of January to February. And I wanted to film it this year. I had the chest harness. I got a head harness as well. Uh, but earlier this year, I had an afro, so that didn't pan out too well. But really, the point was just to vlog and see where this would go. If you know me personally, you know that I love supercars. I'm a car enthusiast. I love exotics. Lamborghini is my favorite car brand. Porsche comes in second. You guys know that I love vehicles. So a lot of the content I would say outside of the unboxings was the cars and coffee events. So showing you guys those, but after a while, I'm just gonna be honest, I got tired of filming those events because I felt like it was getting redundant. Nothing really to see. You're gonna see supercars and then it's it. So that's where the unboxings, that's why I kept this channel the way it is where I don't just go down one avenue. That was my main goal, to not just be here. Now, sometimes people may say it's negative to go into have your hands on multiple things. I personally don't feel like that when it comes to a channel like this. I want to be the one-stop shop. You want to see an unboxing on a new product? I want you to be able to come to my channel. You need some motivation? Things aren't going well in your life? I want you to be able to come to my channel. Oh, he's a gamer. He plays these games that I like. I want to see how it looks when he's playing it before I buy it. That's what this channel is for. All of it. I want it all to be included in this channel so you guys can have something you can fall back on. And I can cater to every part of you know of what my channel covers. So if you're a techie, I got the tech stuff for you. I'm not at the point where I'm getting sponsorships where I'm getting free products sent. So this is coming out of my own pocket. However, because I'm a techie, I'm still going to use it regardless. Might as well film it, right? So to piggyback off of just the, the statement that I was saying, just reflecting on my first year of having a channel, one thing that I can say is actually pulled me out of my comfort zone. Now, I have a mentor uh, at my job that I work with, and we focus a lot on public speaking. Uh, the next role that I'm going into puts me in that type of environment. So my biggest fear has always been speaking in front of crowds, getting in front of a camera, talking to people like I'm talking to you guys, and being comfortable, not, um, you know, stuttering over my words, freezing up on camera, things like that. I, I did not want to be that person, so I knew I needed to attack this head on. And that's what I did. So through that training and just being comfortable looking at you guys in the lens and realizing that if this is what I want to do, even if it's not full time, even if this is just for fun, I still want to put out good content. I need to become comfortable filming out in the public. That's that's a big thing. So I need to be comfortable not only filming out in public, I need to be comfortable filming, talking to a camera when people might be looking at me weird. Of course, I'm a millennial, so it's becoming more frequent that people are filming in general, whether it's YouTube or just for Instagram or Facebook. So those are some of the things that I had to overcome and getting in front of the camera as well as presentations at work is what allowed me to progress. Now, I'm not where I want to be at when it comes to public speaking or getting in front of a camera and 
talking to a crowd of people. Right now, a million people can watch this video, but as you see, I'm the only one home. So there's no pressure, there's no anxiety to film this video. Uh, my only worry is just make sure I don't mess up, right? But at the end of the day, my goal is simply to deliver in a confident manner. So that was one of the hurdles. One of the good things I can honestly say is that I, I filmed a lot of good things this year. Um, one of my friends, my best friend, we were skiing. He took out a kid. I know that may sound wrong, but it's just little things like that that I, I caught on camera. And I'm fortunate that I had you know the camera with me now. Yesterday we climbed a mountain. We climbed Mount Mitchell uh, on in a vehicle. I'm, I'm not out there hiking, but we did have to hike about 300 yards to get to the summit. Uh, but that's something I wish I would have filmed. Uh, and I didn't think to bring my GoPro. I didn't think that there would be enough content, but I had to remind myself course in hindsight that the views and the pictures that I took to have that on this camera would have been amazing you guys would have loved it especially if you've never been at the top of Mount Mitchell or on the top of a mountain at all that was my first time climbing anything whether in a vehicle or on foot and you know you can't you know I could tell you guys about it all day but it's just a different experience when you're actually there so it's a lot of good things that happened this year I'm just happy with the consistent views that I'm getting I'm at least matching my subscriber count. And that was a big goal for me because that lets me know that at least the people that are subscribed to my channel are going to watch my videos. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and let you know, I have another channel that <laughs> I use to just watch videos. I don't use this channel much to watch any content, but I posted a video on that channel and it's almost at a million views. It's been like six years in the making and I almost got a thousand subscribers and I would love to be able to turn that channel into what this one is becoming but back then I was young I didn't really care about copyright so I got some flags on that account so even though I got a thousand subscribers and over a million views with you if you add up all of my um, my videos I think I have about 10 videos I have a million view channel but I can't really do anything with that channel even if I continue to put videos when I get to a point where I can monetize or scale up the channel it would be a waste of time to do that so I can honestly say for the most part I'm getting 30 plus vi views a, a, a video. I have about 34 subscribers as of today. Um, I've had my biggest video of course was a, was a tech related video. It was my unboxing of an Xbox controller. I believe that's almost at 700 views um, as of now. I could be wrong but I believe that's what it's around. So a lot of positives right? I mean I've got new equipment. I got a gimbal now so stabilizer when it's time to actually film. You know, if I'm going out of the country this year or, I mean, next year, or I'm deciding to ski, now I have something where I can stabilize my videos. One of the things that I would say I can, you know, go against myself and, and at least criticize myself is that when I would go to those car events, sometimes when I was filming, it would be shaky. And just being new, jumping out there, I really wasn't prepared, but I'm still going to post a video. I'm still going to, you know, take feedback. But I also am a, a harsh critic of myself, so I'm going to constantly look at that film, figure out areas that I can, you know, improve upon, and sometimes it involves buying better equipment. So, one of the things going forward, I've been filming in 4K. Most of my videos have been 1080p. Now, the software I use has been scaling down my videos to about 720. So, this video won't have a lot of edits because I really want you guys to see the 4K. And I want to make sure that on you guys in, it looks like 4K and not grainy. The lights that we have in the house, they're LEDs, but they give off a yellow hue. So that's one of the things that I've been battling. So I'm gonna have some equipment coming in to kind of fix that soon. But that's just to let you guys know where things are going, right? So that's the that's the initial review on the year. Going forward, the new boss mobile. All right. I've always been called boss. It's an insider thing. That's where the channel name came from. Uh, but I always refer to my vehicle as the boss mobile. And as I'm progressing in life or as things is changing in life with me and my wife it's time to start looking at the next boss mobile and the 300 is still going to be here that's not going away that's the very first car I can say I honestly bought on my own that has sentimental value to me plus a hell of a lot of miles so I don't even want to give that car away because the depreciation is almost disrespectful but it is time to look at a more efficient manner of getting to work I commute to work an hour a day even though we're in, in the process of buying a home, e the, the closest we're gonna move is probably like 20 minutes closer. I'm still gonna be driving about 40, 50 minutes to work, not factoring in traffic. So 
I didn't post this video, but I did film. I went on a, a test drive with Tesla a couple weeks ago. Test drove the Model S. I'm definitely a perfect candidate of why it makes sense to own a Tesla. Fuel efficiency, well, I don't have to pay fuel at all, uh, so it's real efficient. Um, the fact that I have charges at work, the fact that I can you know, use autopilot if I want to, those long drives, tax credits. It's a whole bunch of reasons why this car would be the next Boss Mobile. But you never know where things can go. So I'm holding off right now on deciding on my next vehicle. If you know me personally, you know the Porsche Panamera Turbo is the car that I desire. Right now it's taking some time, being honest, because there's some things that I have to take care of to get that. So don't want you to think that if you see a Tesla as the new boss mobile that I settled for a car. No, I'm a techie. At the end of the day, a Tesla is going to cater the techie side. I'm a car enthusiast. Whether it's a Porsche, Tesla, Volkswagen, Buick, it doesn't matter. I still love cars. Right now though, business decisions, have to line up your you know life is a game of checkers so you have to line up every, excuse me chess so you have to line up everything in an appropriate manner so that way you can get the things that you want you just got to be strategic about it so right now we're not declaring any vehicle the next boss mobile because i really don't know i don't know where things are going to take me things have been great this year uh, on a personal level i can't begin to tell you guys all of the things that i achieved that i set out to achieve and things that i didn't even set out to achieve that i achieved anyway so uh, that brings me to my next my next point is what will the channel look like going forward and my focus is to continue to bring you guys good content but I have to be creative about it so one of the things I don't want to do is at least once a week something inspirational I have topics I always write down topics when they pop up in my head but sometimes I let life get in the way and I don't prioritize and that's why you guys don't see that content so I apologize that's going to be fixed come 2018 also, I still will be going to car events, but I'll be on the things a little bit different. I'll be getting better footage. I'm actually going to talk with people. I'm actually going to vlog at the event. I don't think in one video I vlogged at the event. You just saw the film. You saw me take pictures. Saw me filming cars coming in, revs. That was it, right? That's going to change. Also, my unboxings are going to change. So now, because there's so much thing, so many things that are coming out next year, tech-wise, that I want. I want to show you guys, you know, how this actually works and, and give you follow-ups too. So going forward, the channel itself, my goal is to get more better equipment, uh, especially with the microphone. I was supposed to order a microphone, but the way I have this camera set up, it is really going to be a waste of money. And GoPro charges an unnecessary amount for the adapter. It's like seventy-five dollars and. I feel like there's better ways to get good quality audio from this camera. So I'm working on that, talking to a couple people, but we're gonna get that addressed. So I can get back to my videos with me driving and you guys watching me on my way to work. That's one of the things that I wanna get back to doing because I felt like you get to really see me make that commute. Because when I make those videos, that's what I'm doing. I'm making that commute. So that's where the channel's going forward. Uh, I wanna scale up. I also wanna start putting my game footage on there. So now, I have a PlayStation 4 and an Xbox One. Xbox One is my native console. I'll play that the majority of the time. The PS4, however, uh, next year is going to get a little bit different because there's more games coming out for it, but also the ability to film directly with YouTube. So for YouTube, I'm able to stream from the PS4. I can't do that with the Xbox unless I have like a capture card or something like that. So because I play that a lot, if I'm going to tell you guys I'm great at this game called Call of Duty, you should be able to watch me live. You know, not watching edits of photos because people can all start to think different things about it and they may not believe the hype or whatever. So to eliminate that, I am going to be getting a capture card, capturing my audio, uh, capturing my video, make sure that it's in high, high definition, but also commentating. So you'll see a picture of me picture in picture mode of this video of my live stream. So my goal is to give you guys at least a live stream every month, maybe an hour or so, depending on the game. Of course, if you guys have certain games that you would like to see me play, I'll make sure I deliver those to you as well. So the final thing I want to leave you guys with, because it's New Year's Eve, it's almost it's 530. A couple years ago, I was in a position where I really didn't like what I was doing. I guess you can call it a state of complacency. And to look back on that and see where I'm at today, 
is all because I decided to say enough was enough. A lot of the times people, they set goals for the new year and that's great. I'm not knocking you. I don't care if it takes you five times to officially lose that weight, as long as you're going in with the mindset. But let's not get complacent. Let's not be comfortable where we're at. It's okay to be humble and appreciate where you're at. I hope every single one of you is appreciating where you're at in life and appreciating that you could be in a worse situation. But I also want to challenge you to get better and think beyond your concern, your current circumstances. I want you to focus on the things that you desire because we all have different things that we desire and we don't have. Even some of the wealthiest people desire certain things that money can't buy. So they have to do things to put themselves in a position to obtain that. And that's what I want from you guys. So if there's one thing I can leave you with here in 2017, because this video is going to be posted soon. I'm not going to wait days to post this. I want you guys to really think about your resolutions and your goals and to put them in the perspective of really what are you wanting out of life? What do you value? What is important to you? And it's going to be different, right? Some people value money. Some people value family. Some people value vacations. Some people value work. Whatever it is, make sure you prioritize it. Um, but make sure that you guys truly think about what you want out of life. I mean, I, I made a, a video not too long ago called, you know, your one shot, right? Making the most of your one shot. And that's just simply life. Nobody wants to talk about it, but we're all gonna die one day, right? And some are gonna die sooner than others. So when you think about it from that perspective, you should always be striving to do the most, right? Because tomorrow's not promised. Not everybody's gonna walk into 2018. People are not gonna make it. And that's just the unfortunate circumstances that life brings, right? It's not supposed to be fair. It won't be fair. No matter how much we gripe and upset about it, it's just not going to happen. There will be people that won't see tomorrow. And I challenge every one of you guys to not be complacent, to focus on any goal that you have. I don't care how small or how big, don't let others down you for the things that you're wanting to achieve out of life. You have every right to want to achieve a big goal. And my thing here is if you fall short, because you will, not every goal, but there are going to be goals that you're going to fall short on. And your first reaction is just to give up. Not because you're weak, but because you don't see the end of the tunnel. You don't see the light. You don't see the, the possibility. You see what has actually happened. As humans, we tend to focus on the real, what's actually there. That's why we like to be able to physically touch something in order to believe it. If we can't see with our own eyes or touch with our two hands, we don't believe it. And you have to really shift your mindset to understand that, yes, you may have fallen, but you have opportunities to get up and to go out there and knock out any goal that you put your mind to. It just takes time. That's the hardest part, right? Patience. I tell, I've told you guys several times, that's the biggest thing I struggle with. And I struggle with it now. And I've not to brag, but I've really accomplished a lot of things in 2017. But there's a lot of things that I didn't, right? A lot of the times us as humans are just, uh, as people, we tend to uh, overestimate what we can do in a year and underestimate what we can do in five years, right? Start looking at the long-term picture, the things that you want to achieve and the things that you want to happen. So if your goal is to lose weight next year, which is fine, just make sure you have a plan and understand that it's not going to happen as fast as you want it to. And it's okay. It's okay that if it doesn't happen when you want it to. That's life. That's where you build up the character to keep pushing. When you know you're busting your butt and you get on the scale and you see you gained a couple pounds, well, you know you put in the work, but why did it go this way? It's going to challenge you to start thinking of areas that you can also improve in that may not necessarily be workout related. It could be your eating habits, your sleeping habits, right? This helps us look into a more strategic way of accomplishing our goals. We are problem solvers. Every human being is. If we weren't, we wouldn't have the things we have. Nobody would have thought to turn this into a Christmas tree. Nobody would have thought to make a Samsung refrigerator or an iPhone or, you know, just some of the things that we don't look at and realize how far we've come to get to where these things are. And I just challenge you guys, stay strong, stay focused. Most importantly, stay humble and patient. All right. Go into 2018 and attack these goals. It's a momentum. It's, it's momentum. It's not a sprint. It is a marathon. Some of you guys are gonna hit your goals early. That's dangerous. It's okay, but it's also dangerous. Be on the lookout for that. You hit a goal sooner than you anticipated, have to have something else to go for. Because if you feel like you've accomplished everything, then you'll get into a state of complacency. And halfway through the year, you're gonna be regressing instead of 
progressing, right? So let's 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 all as a people let's build each other up. Let's focus on knocking out all of these goals. I hope every single one of you guys have a safe and happy new year. I hope that 2018 is is going to be your year, right? I hope that any goal that you put forth, you're going to achieve. But I also hope that you're going to fail. And the reason why I hope you're going to fail is because my hope for you is that you're going to learn from that. And you're going to come out of that better. And you're going to be able to pass that down to somebody else who may not have experienced failure before. Those are the people that you want to surround yourself around. Not only the positive people who have growth on their mind, but people who have fallen and who have not allowed that to define them. That's my challenge for you guys. I hope that you have a safe, happy new year. I hope that Christmas was good to you. I hope that this year's coming up is going to be good to you. I hope that you hit the ground running and that you achieve every single goal you put your mind to. And we'll revisit here in 2018, preparing for 2019, to talk about the positives and the spread cheer going forward, right? I hope that this year has been good to you as it was to me. I thank you guys, all of my subscribers. I don't care if you were a subscriber as of yesterday or since day one. I thank each and every one of you guys for coming to my page, watching these videos, thumbs in it down when you don't like it, thumbs in it up when you do like it, dropping a comment, or even texting me on the side with feedback. I'm a person that's open because I had to come to a turn to a point where I understood that I don't have all the answers and I won't know it all as much as I want to. I'll never know it all. And so I trust you guys because everybody that's watching through this lens, through this camera on YouTube understands something that some the next person doesn't or has experience that the next person doesn't have. So that's my ask for you guys. Enjoy the rest of your day. Bring in the new year with the bang. Let's hit these goals. Let's check in on each other. Let's hold each other accountable. And let's finish it out strong. You guys, I appreciate everything. Take care. Peace.